Hi everyone, uh, this is another video on the operation for the Akuma Genos L200 EM CNC lathe. Uh, in this video, we'll go over how to load and run a program. Um, so first, you're gonna grab your USB flash drive, which you've posted your CNC lathe cam using the Akuma Genos L200 EM uh, post processor with James Edits. So first thing we'll do is we'll go over to the machine, we'll plug the USB into slot zero. We'll hit this button over here. This button indicates the directory or the file directory system on the OSP controller. So we'll tap that button. We will wait for the machine to find the hardware. Now that it's ready to use, tap anywhere on the screen, we'll hit directory display. And right now our flash drive is in US zero. So we will go over to US zero. As you can see, we have two programs here. Um, for this particular video, we're going to run a program without the tail sock. Running the program with the tail sock will be another video. So now that we have found the file that we want to uh, copy over or that we want to run, we want to copy the file back to the main directory. So you'll hit this copy button once you've selected your file. You'll hit the directory you want to copy it to. In our case, we want to copy it to the main directory so we can pull it up on the machine. So we'll hit MD1 copy. And now the program has been copied over to the main directory. In order to load the program into the machine, we're gonna go back over to this actual positioning, uh, to the actual positioning menu. And we will go into auto mode. Then we'll tab over until we find program select. We'll hit program select. And as you can see, the program that was most recently copied over is now loaded in the main directory. So now I can hit OK. It loads the program into memory. Now the next step is to grab your stock material here and load it into the machine. So now that the I'll make sure that the jaws have adjusted so that way I can barely slide the stock material through. Depending on your program, your stick out of your stock material will vary, but for our program, we're turning about two inches of the part, so we will make sure we have somewhere between three or four inches to account for tool clearance between the turret and the lathe chuck. So, once I've positioned my stock material roughly where I want it to be, I'll hit the foot pedal on the ground over here, the material will clamp, and I'll just make sure that it's nice and secure. So now that the stock has been loaded into the machine, we're gonna go back over to the control panel, and we're gonna set our Z zero. So we're gonna go back into manual mode, we will make sure the turret is in the top rightmost position. So I will go positive in the X and positive in the Z as far as I can. And then I'm going to index to the master tool using the tool index keys. The master tool currently on this machine is tool three. We can verify what tool is currently loaded by going into the tool menu, and it will display that in current T number. So we need to decrement the turret number down until we see that tool three is currently loaded. So now that we have tool three currently loaded in the machine, we're gonna go back over to the actual positioning menu we will enable easy operation mode if it hasn't been enabled already. So in order to check that, we'll hit display change and make sure the easy op on is visible. 
or make sure that we see easy off enabled. So now we're gonna go over to spindle setup and the only thing we need to edit is this Z0 offset. So the way we're gonna do that is we will make sure the door interlock is turned off. Disabling the door interlock allows us to move the machine manually while the door is open. So now I will open the door and I will slowly and carefully move the tool number three until the front of the tool just makes contact with the stock material. So now I'll move the X slightly. And I'm still a little bit far away, so I'm gonna move the Z inward. Now that we can see we've had a slight gouge in the material, and knowing that means we are pretty close, we might be a little bit further than the actual front of the stock material, so we will set our Z0 to be here. Typically you could use a feeler gauge or have some, like a sheet of paper. Uh, to set it so that way you're a little bit further off the material as well. But for this, pur for the purposes of this video, uh, we will just touch off the stock material with our master tool. Um, in this case, tool three. So for example, now that we're in position, we will hit zero edit on off. We will make sure Z is highlighted and we will hit cal. At this point, you'll enter in the value you are away from the stock material. Because we are just on the front of the stock material, we will hit Cal zero and hit enter. Now the value has changed. So this is where we have set the front of the, uh, the front origin point of our program to be. At this point, we'll go back into actual positioning mode on. We will turn the feeds all the way to zero. We will go back into auto mode and we will hit cycle start. Once cycle start has been enabled, in case you get a door interlock error, hit the reset key, turn interlock on and hit, go back into auto, hit cycle start. slowly have the feed, slowly enable feeds and watch carefully and monitor the program through the process. And that's pretty much.